2022 was a wake-up call to most of the investors simply because the perceived uh, kind of a well-diversified portfolio ceased to become diversified at all in 2022. Primarily because, you know, first bond as a key diversifier didn't play its role, right? And uh, on the other side is actually play the opposite role, which exacerbate the risk, you know, in a cold drawdown scenario when equity and bond and decline at the same time. They will need to break things, you know, for inflation to fall back to the miraculous 2%. Of course, then it's a question how much um, pain are they willing to inflict on the economy. Thinking through a little bit um, the spectrum of how you balance all of these tools is, is really key and, and making sure that you don't over-index on any one of them that may not work or may create unintended consequences at some point in time. Is it even relevant to the investment decisions? So we have to have a very uh, kind of strong um, obligation to think about, is it really practical? Is it really kind of a good to analyze our geopolitical risk? So scenario analysis is definitely one part. Mm -hmm.